Hey everybody, it's Cherub. Welcome to Diablo Daily. So today I'd like to go ahead and uh, really quickly just go over a few clarifications from last Diablo Daily. Um, thankfully, Cyber Dragon on the Diablo fans forums has clarified an issue that I had. Not with my equation. My equations were sound. Uh, the math was sound. But there is a, uh, a Bashiok quote that um, basically addresses the issue, and he goes, uh, We'll probably be dropping gems a couple levels further than the uh, fifth, as previously stated, which should help. Basically what he's saying is, instead of having just a level five gem drop, we'll actually have like maybe a level six, or a seven, or eight, or possibly more. Uh, now, that doesn't actually change the equation that I uh, have written, but it actually does change significantly I might add the the total time I had said kind of extravagantly but not not it's not out of the question it's not like it's it's bad math it's actually true but I had said that it'll take you 3.37 years to get that level 14 gem and that's still true under the conditions that I gave before but it's still uh, it's probably not going to quite be as the, as stringent as as I had said because of the factor that's going to change and so let me show you a quick um, image of how that looks. So as you can see, everything is based on the highest level gym drop, and that's all that matters. Um, the reason why the highest one is only is the only one that matters. Some of the people said, "Oh well, you're going to be collecting lower level gems, and those will add up." Actually, they don't really add up at all. Uh, and in fact, you saw this very often in Diablo 2. You would find chipped gems on the ground at level 10, but by the time you get to level 2, you'd find um, cracked or whatever gems, the, the, the level 2 gems. And your level 1 gems were basically useless because you couldn't even finish them because they weren't even dropping. And before you knew it, you were collecting uh, level 4 gems, in which case, all those gems that you'd collected before, they take so long first of all, but really they just pollute, they just dilute the, 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 uh, the drop rate, and they also, they, they're just useless. Like, by the time you have one of the flawless gems, you're still back at, at you know, cracked gems, or I can't even remember the name, but they were, you know, the very, the very lowest gems. So, that's not an argument, but a good argument is that uh, if these levels do change like they are supposedly going to do, then we'll see a significant uh, decrease in the amount of time it takes to actually get that 14 level gem. And as you can see right here, uh, I've got a, it's level 6, it would take you four, 410 days. Level 7, it would take you 136 days. And if level 8 is the last one that can possibly drop, it's actually 45 days. Um, and basically the equation, based on the uh, assumptions that I made before, is right at the bottom there. It says days equals 3. Three is the amount that's required to evolve the gem. The gem. Uh, raised to the power of x minus one, which x minus one, uh, it's minus one because you have to discount the, the level you're on now. And then it's over 16, which is basically over four and over four again, based on the last video. If you don't, if you don't get all that, just go back to the last video and it'll show you the, the details of the equation and why it is what it is. Um, so, Bashok also confirms that uh, we'll also uh, make sure that it doesn't become a pain to have a ton of gems sitting around waiting for another one to upgrade, so there may be some crafting solutions that help with that. So there is more in store for gems, crafting, and all that stuff. We just don't know quite what it is yet, so we just have to wait and see. Hopefully Bailey will come soon and we'll get some glimpses of uh, more on that subject. But I'm I'm tired of talking about the gems, so I'm going to move on to what I really want to talk about today, and that is Inferno. So at first we were given the assumption that all the monster levels in Inferno will be at level 61 throughout the entire difficulty. That's what I had thought when I had read it the first time. But there's actually multiple sources that are that are conflicting with that. One source says that it will be a flat level 61 for all monsters no matter what that means bosses that means regular enemies throughout all of inferno will be level 61 but other sources have said that six level 61 is going to be the base level for all the monsters and it's only going to get higher from there which means all the monsters are just going to get harder um there is uh there's there's problems with both models in my opinion and i want i want your feedback on this if Let's say the first model is the model where all the monsters say it's 61. 
The problem with that is that if all the content is exactly the same level, at what point in Inferno do we really get worried about the next difficulty? I mean, I guess the monsters naturally could get harder because of their mechanics and the spells they cast. But beyond that, if the, the monsters don't get harder than level 61, I mean, how are we going to know, you know, what's the difference between running Act 1 and Act 4? It, it seems like it's going to be just as hard the whole way through. On the flip side of that, the good thing about everything being at level 61, and the, my personal favorite is to, for everything to stay at 61, and the reason I like that is because all of the items have the potential to drop right there, and right as soon as you start Inferno, you can get the highest level items. Uh, and you're not, and as soon as you finish Act 4 in Inferno, it's not like you're, you're going to be forced to continue doing bell runs or doing whatever the, the end baddie is, which is probably Diablo. I think it's been confirmed or whatever. So I think that's, I think that's a very important aspect. If, if all the monsters are level 61, then we won't necessarily be incentivized to re-roll that same damn monster at the end. But let's look at the other uh, pros and cons of the of the other version, which is the monsters actually do gain levels in the later the later parts of Inferno. And I think this is this has actually been uh, confirmed as actually the way it's going to happen. So the pros about the monsters gaining levels is that you do have look something you have something to look forward to by the time you get to Diablo the fourth time it's gonna be damn hard if he's like level 65 or I don't really know the curve so that's kind of meaningless but um, there's a little bit more incentive to fight those bosses and the bosses are gonna be really tough in which case it's gonna be very satisfying for the player when you actually kill Diablo because he's level 65 and he beats the shit out of you uh, so that's that's a really good aspect, but again, the problem with that model is that you're going to be incentivized to go fight just Diablo runs and stuff like that. So it's kind of like both of these camps, whether you want monsters to be level 61 and stay flat at 61, or you want monsters to start off at 61 and gradually get harder as you progress through uh, Inferno, those are the two camps that are, they're basically the exact opposite. and whichever one you choose the the positive and the negative sides are basically flipped on their heads so I thought that was pretty interesting but I'm interested to see what you guys think about it I mean do you think that uh, the flat one is good or if the increased level is good just let me know because I'm they both have their good and bad qualities I think that's going to cover about everything I wanted to say, but before I go, I'd like to go ahead and uh, let you guys know, if you don't know yet, there is uh, one piece of information that's actually pretty cool. Very soon, like before beta, and beta's coming out very soon too, before beta we're going to get our official forums are going to be revamped. So go check out the uh, old forums. They're, they, they're, they suck. They're like super old. They're still on the classic Battle.net site they're still very I do like them because they're quick and they're fast and there's nothing complex about them but there's also really pretty terrible search functionality and uh, it'll be a whole lot better when we get the new interface the new forums will have I'm sure the new forums will have like you know all the different categories and so the off topics can go on the off topics and the the general can go in the general and then the they'll have all kinds of of all that stuff so that's gonna be really great I can't wait I'm sure a whole bunch more people are gonna be flocking to that forum and the community is just going to get bigger and bigger and I really can't wait. I'm so excited because it's coming soon, guys. Just hold your horses and uh, we'll get through this together and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes, I know it wasn't Diablo music. It was Wagner. Because I love him.